A burglar breaks into a Madison bike shop, what employees found, and what the thief got away with. Plus, drowning incidents are on the rise. We'll tell you by how much and what you can do to keep you and your family safe. You'll want the jacket this morning. Temperatures only in the mid 40s for the most part across Dane County. But how far above average we're going to be the next couple of days. That's coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on a Wednesday. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. No jacket for me today. I did so out of protest. Out OK, of tough guy. Temperatures. <laughs> Like, wow. you know what, I'm going to show Mother Nature a thing or two. I went light jacket. It was a little cool, but, yeah. you know, I mean, by the time we get out of here, it'll be nice and toasty. I hope so. I'm looking Let's forward check to check in that. Savannah. She knows better. <laughs> How you, you doing, Savannah? You guys have socks on, though, and, like, dress shoes. I got the heels on, so yeah, you can know. see my toes. My feet are a little bit cold, but we got the jacket this morning. Little cold. You're not going to need any type of jacket, though, by later this afternoon because temperatures, they're going to be in the 70s. Lots of sunshine returning. We're already checking in mostly clear blue skies right now, which is good news. After a dreary day yesterday, temperatures are in the mid 40s out there. We're checking into 46 in Madison, 45 in Sauk City. Little cooler of weather, though, just to our northwest, northeast of here along the lake. That's where the cooler weather is going to remain today because we have that northeasterly breeze. That actually is going to transition back. Our winds will be back out of the south. That's going to warm us up by later the next couple of days. More specifically, we'll be a lot above or well above average, not only today, but especially as we reach the weekend. Over the next couple of days, we're tracking more showers to return. Nothing early today. You can't even see clouds developing on radar, which is good news. But when we'll see some storms return to the forecast, I do think that'll be, for the most part, early tomorrow morning, non-severe in the afternoon. We're not anticipating any severe weather across southern Wisconsin. The best chance actually is going to fall well south and southwest of here, not only today and tomorrow, but the next couple of days, too. So, guys, the good news is no severe weather, just a couple pockets of heavier showers out there tomorrow morning and afternoon. Okay, thanks for the heads up, Savannah. A uh, downtown bike shop is asking for your help this morning to identify a potential thief. Employees at Machinery Row Bicycles on Willie Street found a crowbar and damage to their back window when they arrived to work last Friday. Security footage shows a person taking three bicycles from the store. One bike was left outside the business, but two Trek bikes remain missing. That person is at one point wearing a red Wisconsin sweat sweatshirt, one of the burglars. Anyone with information that can help identify the man and help get those bikes back to the store should call Crime Stoppers. That number is on your screen, 608-266-6014. From a burglary to a robbery, police in Sun Prairie say a man's formally charged in connection with a bank robbery. Authorities say 26-year-old Isaiah Freeman robbed the Old National Bank on West Main Street Monday, April 29th. Police say Freeman ran off after bank staff gave him money. Authorities initially arrested him later that day on a probation hold, saying at the time that he was a person of interest in the bank robbery. He has now been officially charged in court with the crime. A man accused of shooting another man on State Street in late 2022 will spend the next eight years behind bars. Lamar Jefferson has pleaded guilty to first degree recklessly endangering safety from a shooting on November 29, 2022. The victim was taken to the hospital and survived. Jefferson was on the run for six and a half months before being found in Milwaukee County. He will serve five years of extended supervision following his release. While summer is around the corner and with the weather warming up, many people are, of course, anxious to get out on the water. The CDC is urging everyone out there to be careful before they jump in. A new report finds that accidental drownings are on the rise following decades of decline. Our Armand Rahman breaks down the numbers and what you can do to stay safe. The number one cause of death for kids one to four years old isn't an illness, but the CDC says drowning can be prevented. As an emergency physician, I saw firsthand the devastating effects of drowning. Families are torn apart and lives are cut short. In a new study, they found more than 4,500 people died due to drowning each year from 2020 to 2022 in all types of water, 500 more per year compared to 2019. What's not new? The highest drowning rates were among American Indian, Alaska Native and Black populations. It is concerning that there are increases in drowning rates among some of these groups that were already at disparately higher risk 
for drowning. Those are also the communities where more adults have never taken swim lessons. The CDC says the disparity could be caused by COVID-19 closing public pools and historical factors like racial segregation. So doctors say local and federal governments need to do more to make them more accessible. Swimming lessons can be expensive or unavailable in certain communities. Even when swimming lessons are available, people may be hesitant to participate due to complex social and cultural factors. So how can you stay safe while swimming this summer? These steps can save your life or a loved one's life. The CDC says to make sure you and your kids get basic swimming and water safety training. Don't drink alcohol and swim or operate a boat and always wear a life jacket on open water to avoid adding to the overall rate of 12 people a day who die drowning. One person every two hours. And those are lives, not numbers. That was Armand Rahman reporting. The U.S. National Water Action Safety Plan is also an online resource to help states and local communities identify tangible actions that prevent drowning. The city of Monona is banning new vape shops for the next six months. This after the city council voted on the pause last week. Currently, there are three stores open in the area. A proposed fourth one was denied due to it being too close to several schools. While the ban is in place, the city will ask for public opinion and study vape stores to see if zoning code changes are needed. Looking ahead, the Madison West DMV is moving to a new location next month. June 13th, the DMV on Excelsior Drive will close and move to South Park Street. It'll also be renamed to the Madison Southwest DMV. The new location is set to serve Madison's growing population. It'll also allow for better access to public transportation. The new Madison Southwest DMV is scheduled to open on June 17th. Staying in transportation, if you're looking for a job, the Federal Aviation Administration has hundreds of employment opportunities. They say they need around 3,000 more air traffic controllers within the next few months. The FAA currently has more than 11,000 employees who are fully certified or at a stage where they're allowed to work independently. Those air traffic controllers won't be in, though, by Memorial Day, which is set to be one of the busiest such days in terms of travel in a long time. AAA says Memorial Day travel this year will be the busiest since 2019. In a news release, the company cites high consumer interest. They predict over 800,000 Wisconsinites are going to travel one way or another for the long weekend. That's up 4% from last year. This week is National Hospital Week, and SSM Health representatives say the best way to give back to your local health care team is to help keep their patients healthy. You can do just that by donating to the collection bins at Janesville's SSM Health location. On the list of accepted items are canned proteins, ready-to-eat soups, cans, fruits and vegetables, and perishables like rice and beans. And while National Hospital Week will end this weekend, SSM Health is accepting donations through the end of the month. All right, time is 6.07. Savannah, what's coming up? You guys can see nothing at all showing up on radar, which is good news. Lots of sunshine returning and mild temperatures will time out the rain chances and when that's set to return, though, coming up. All right, Savannah, thank you. And coming up, Caitlin Clark finally makes her WNBA debut. Find out how it went. We'll tell you about it coming up in your morning sports. And we're live at Pheasant Branch Conservancy this morning talking about conservancy days and how you can enjoy nature right here in the 608. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can capture all the moments that make summer, summer. Like driving a RAV4 to wade in a waterfall. Nice. Cruising to play mini golf in a Camry. <laughs> or taking a Tundra to the beach. You're not going to leave me here, are you? <laughs> Right now, you can lease a sporty new Toyota RAV4 for $309 a month. See your local Toyota dealer today or visit toyota.com to learn more. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Owning my own home is nice when you just come home knowing that it's yours. It's a sense of pride, sense of ownership, and enjoying it with everyone I love and care for. Make a lasting impact on local families in need. Please donate today. Need inspiration? Shop Pick and Save. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices, plus savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Pick and Save is worth it every time. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. The forecast this summer? Hot. 
We're all trying to save energy, and a quality ceiling fan is an appliance that saves energy and feels great. Save big with the experts at Madison Lighting during this cool fan sale. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows, because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two Champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy 10, get, get 10, 10 free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Life's better when you're under our roof. The policy's updated. Because we know your house is where their dreams begin. <gasps> Impressive. Thanks, Kayla. And our agents are here no! to help you feel protected so your family can pursue their dreams. Hey! Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. 6-11, time to see what's going on in the 608 this morning. We are telling you about an opportunity to go birding by ear this week, exploring all things nature has to offer. That's right, our Josh Spreider is live in Middleton with the story this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. We're at one of our favorite places, Pheasant Branch Conservancy in Middleton this morning. We're giving you a little uh, up-close look at nature, and we have a lot to talk about, and some visual things happening right behind us. I want to bring in Paul Ludden first with the Friends of Pheasant Branch Conservancy. Paul, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. Boy, what a beautiful Wednesday morning this is, huh? It's always wonderful here in Pheasant Branch. It really <laughs> is. So this is all about, you know, getting out and getting into nature right here in our own backyard, and we have a really incredible view behind us this morning. Indeed, uh, the eagles have uh, raised a new eaglet and the deer are playing out there. There's a pair of sandhill cranes which nested and have two colts uh, somewhere out in the grass. So it's really a wonderful place. Always nice to walk here in the morning. I think what's so amazing is you come out here and you never know what you're going to find right here. And I mean, we're so close to the city. I think people kind of forget how lucky we are to have this. This is a treasure. It's a very biodiverse area which about 600 acres in Pheasant Branch, including the 160 acres that the county and the city just brought into the conservancy that uh, expands the uh, available lands for wildlife, for hiking, for uh, observing. It's wonderful. So we're talking about conservancy days and there are a lot of events coming up that folks can actually enjoy right here. Ab absolutely. The Tomorrow evening, we're having Birding by Ear, and that's actually an indoor event that will be at the Middleton Public Library, where Tim Hamsel, the education coordinator for the Friends of Pheasant Branch, will be talking about Birding by Ear. And we can we can hear the birds behind us yes, right now. Yes, we can. Indeed. So, and then this Saturday, from 8 to 10, there'll be a birding walk, also with Tim Hamsel, and that will be in the corridor along the creek on the other side of Century Ave. Why is it so important for us to come out here and take all of this in? Because it, it reminds us of our connection to nature. Uh, and this is a, a beautiful place, but it also is calming. And people can come out here and uh, as we stand here, we see joggers going by, mothers with small children going by, families coming by, and it's just a wonderful, calming place. And, you know, the f you couldn't do this without the Friends of the Pheasant Branch Conservancy. This takes a community effort to keep going. Absolutely. The Pheasant Branch Conservancy is a collaboration between the city of Middleton, Dane County, the town of Springfield, and the Friends of Pheasant Branch. And it was, it was born out of... Uh, adversity and an adversarial 
uh, arrangement is how this land would be used, but now it's very much a partnership uh, to keep this place the treasure that it is. And we're so lucky to have it. Paul, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about some of the events coming up here at Pheasant Branch Conservancy, you can go to the story on channel3000.com. Chris and Shane, I'm just all smiles this morning. We're seeing deer. We're seeing eagles. Uh, it really does not get much better than this being out in nature, especially on a beautiful morning like today. Man, it just looks so peaceful and we are loving tranquil. Those views. Oh, love it. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email for a chance to be featured. Check in with Savannah now here at 614 with your first word forecast. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys. Good morning. Temperatures out there a little cool. This is seasonable, though, where we should be. We've just kind of been spoiled with the mild air waking up with the last couple of days. That's not the story this morning, though. 46 in Stoughton, Sun Prairie, Deerfield, also Madison. It's kind of the magic number out there this morning, at least across Dane County. But it is cooler to our northwest. Camp Douglas is sitting at 35. Black River Falls at 37. The coolest air later this afternoon. Afternoon. That's actually going to be along the lake. We do have a northeast wind that's bringing in a little bit cooler air this morning. Our mostly clear skies can be thanked for that as well. But by this afternoon, that's when temperatures are going to warm. For the most part, lower to mid 70s, I think most of us can expect that. But like I just said, it will be a little bit cooler across the lake areas like Milwaukee, Sheboygan. They'll probably only make it in the mid to upper 60s out there, maybe a 70 at best. But here's our northeast wind. We're going to see that switch back slowly out of a southerly pattern, not forecasting any showers, few clouds. That's definitely going to be on the increase after about midnight tonight. And then as we're pushing four or five in the morning tomorrow, some showers, maybe even a couple isolated thunderstorms. Those would be non severe. That's at that point in time, four or five a.m. going to be sitting west of Madison that then tracks in and then we'll have to look out, watch the afternoon. No severe weather anticipated, but I do think we could see some pockets of heavier showers maybe even some rumbles of thunder, definitely some gusty winds associated with this. As we turn towards the weekend, that's when temperatures are going to be mild and we're even going to see breezy conditions return. As far as smoke, we'll check in with the latest there. Not really seeing any of that near surface smoke this morning, but we will see that move back in here because of those northeast winds. So could see that could hinder our visibility, especially because we don't have any clouds more visible on days that we don't see that. So I do think there's going to be a little bit of an issue with smoke today. Light to moderate levels at best. It's not going to be moderate to heavy, which is some good news, but still something to watch out for this afternoon. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As we work towards the weekend, temperatures are going to be pushing close to 15 degrees above average or normal high for this time of year, upper 60s. But we'll see temperatures soar well past that. It will cool down a little bit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're looking at 71. That at that point in time will be much more seasonal. It's been quite a year for Kirk Penny. He returned to the Badger bench this past season to help out a program that he thrived in as a player. Now the former All Big Ten first teamer is headed to the hall. Penny is set to be enshrined as a member of the 2024 FIBA Hall of Fame class. He represented New Zealand at two Olympic Games and four FIBA World Cups and ranks 12th all time in FIBA World Cup scoring with 447 points in 27 games. Well, it didn't take long for UW Green Bay to find a new head coach. The Phoenix have announced that Doug Gottlieb will be the 10th head coach in program history. Yes, you're thinking it's that Doug Gottlieb, the Fox Sports radio host. Now, he does have some ties to Wisconsin. His dad, Bob, coached at UW Milwaukee for a handful of seasons. Doug, though, has no college coaching experience. WNBA debut for Caitlin Clark. Her fever taking on the sun. Oh, she's not known for her defense. But she can play some D2. Clark comes up with a steal and then takes it to the rack for two and her first points as a pro. She had seven in the first half but came alive in the second half. Clark with the step back triple. Team high 20 points from her, but also a game high 10 turnovers. Fever fall 92 to 71. Brewers looking even their series with the Pirates and it was a big second inning for the crew. One on for Sal Freelich and two gone. His first home run of the year gives Milwaukee a two run lead. 
And they weren't done yet. It's 3 0 a couple batters later, and Christian Yelich gets into that RBI action. He smacks one through to make it 4 0. They'd hold on for a 4 3 win. And the top two teams in the Badger Large going at it. Oregon hosting to Forest and Girls Soccer. Panthers got the party started first. 23rd minute, Addison Worth goes corner pocket to put the home team up 1 0. Well, that lead wouldn't last very long. Five minutes later, DeForest would strike. Rylan Oberg rips one in for the equalizer, but Oregon would score two in the second half. They'd get the win, three to one, the final. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Thank you, Zach. Still ahead, find out the first game for the NFL's newest analyst. And coming up in our next half hour, hear from a woman who says a contractor didn't properly repair her broken refrigerator. And find out what our call for action team learned about the person responsible. And as we had a break on this Wednesday morning, we're taking a look at gas prices across the state and across the country. We're back right after this. weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. Save big. During our Made in the USA sale. Featuring hardwood Amish products. And lifetime cushion warranty sofas. Manufactured locally in the USA. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olsen Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you. Learn more at OlsenSolarEnergy.com or give us a call. Looking to buy or sell? Call Tommy Vaness Realty, First Weber's number one team, dedicated to making your real estate dreams a reality. At Tommy Vaness Realty, we understand that buying or selling a home is more than just a transaction. It's about finding the perfect match for your lifestyle. Trust Tommy Vaness Realty for all of your real estate needs. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Vaness. At Papa Murphy's, we build your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, I make the pizza. Right now, get the limited time Taco Grande pizza. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Oh, hey, I'm your celebrity spokesperson for Zeem, the new way to stream local news, sports, and events from all over the country. But Zeem speaks for itself. It doesn't need a celebrity spokesperson to tell you to download Zeem. Besides, an ex-teen idol like myself might resort to pandering gimmicks. You're too smart for that. Let's go to the Zeem logo before I do some sexy overdramatic ending, huh? Zeem. Always local, always free. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. Everyone has their own idea of what fitness means to them. Here's what it means to us. We believe fitness can be more than exercise, that it can build a better tomorrow. It can change how you feel. It can build more than muscle. It can build community. And no matter what your reason, the common goal is simple. It's for a better tomorrow. Join us for a better tomorrow. Save big. During our Made in the USA sale. Featuring hardwood Amish products. And lifetime cushion warranty sofas. Manufactured locally in the USA. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. And we're back sharing Linda's morning with everyone. I am consulting my Sibley's Backyard Birds of the Midwest guide. All right. Does it check out? Looks like a Baltimore Oriole to me. Absolutely. Uh, seen in summer among tall deciduous trees where it builds a hanging pouch-like nest, forages for caterpillars, fruit, and nectar in low brush and in trees. Okay. About uh, nine inches long, 12 inches uh, wingspan. 
Okay. Well, there you go. Everything you need to know about the old Baltimore Oriole. Thank you, Sibley's. And thanks, Linda, for sharing her morning with us. Absolutely. All right, let's get to our trending story of the day now. Now that Tom Brady is retired from the NFL, he is headed to Fox to be their lead uh, analyst, yeah, Chris. It's a big deal. It was a, a big contract. He's going to make his regular season debut. Week one between the Cowboys and the Browns. This kicks off that big deal, which reportedly pays him $375 million over the next 10 years. Yeah, to go get the greatest of all time to be in your booth, yeah, it's gonna take a little chunk of change. I don't know, uh, we'll see how he is behind the mic. I know, I think I'm actually very excited. I, You know, I know he's a very polarizing person, um, you know, Beating, right. beating everyone's team for the last 20 years. Did you watch the roast, by the way? Yeah, it was pretty funny. Oh my goodness, it was hilarious. Um, I am very excited to see what he has to say in a booth just because, you know, he's an intense guy that likes to win, and I think, you know, he could provide some insights like no other. Yes. It's one of the hardest jobs in broadcasting. 100%. To be a color commentator. You have to be brilliant in seven second increments yep. throughout the entire broadcast. And to never have done it and then be the lead guy for, you know, Fox. I mean, that's right. says a lot. Yeah. Hey, it is a big week for the NFL too. Not just learning about Tom Brady, but we're also talking about this schedule release. The NFL yeah. schedule comes out yeah, tonight, yeah, tonight, 7 p.m. So, you know, they they really do it up big for the schedule release these days. So, tomorrow morning we will know exactly who the Packers will be playing and uh, every single week, 18-week season, can't wait. Yeah, they have a lot of fun with this. They've really they really turned it into like a spectacle. The yeah. NFL, like, they've, they've it's taken- It's a machine, yeah. baby, it's a machine. <laughs> All right. so, somehow they make it relevant 365 days a year. And I am <laughs> here, here for, for it, it. <laughs> absolutely. All right, 6.35, check it in with Savannah and a look at your bus stop forecast. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys, good morning. Mild weather and also sunny skies, both going to return today. It is a chilly start to the day, but we'll see temperatures near 73 by later this afternoon. All right, thanks, Savannah. More news for you now this morning right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. If your home or business property has suffered storm damage, go with Ace Exterior Solutions. Ace will work with your insurance company to get you the best results for your damaged roof, siding, or gutters. Call now for a free storm damage inspection from Ace Exterior Solutions. Do you want to close out? Should I? Normally I'd hold, but taking the gains is smart here, right? Feel more confident with stock ratings from J.P. Morgan analysts in the Chase app. When you've got a decision to make, the answer is J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. The forecast this summer? Hot. We're all trying to save energy, and a quality ceiling fan is an appliance that saves energy and feels great. Save big with the experts at Madison Lighting during this cool fan sale. Dad. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. better when you're under our roof because when you feel totally protected your family's free to enjoy their dreams try it again you're getting the hang of this good job american family insurance insure carefully dream fearlessly Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation 
to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. If your home or business property has suffered storm damage, go with Ace Exterior Solutions. Ace will work with your insurance company to get you the best results for your damaged roof, siding, or gutters. Call now for a free storm damage inspection from Ace Exterior Solutions. Right now, the startling rates of deadly drownings, how you can protect yourself and your family. Plus, Donald Trump's criminal trial, the prominent lawmaker who showed up to support the former president. You'll need the jacket this morning, but you won't need that later. We'll talk about afternoon temperatures coming up. Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. You see right here, that's the little eaglet, I think. Yeah, so. At the Conservancy. Yeah, Josh is hanging out at the Fresno Branch Conservancy, uh, talking about birds, and we got a couple of eagles. Uh, hanging out with us this I've morning. never seen a bald eagle hey, in person. Eagles. No, it's uh, they're no, absolutely I, I majestic. It started out of an adversarial nation. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get outside. Savannah Brito is here. How's it feeling out there, Savannah? Guys, it's a little chilly, but like I just said, you won't need the jacket by later this afternoon. So although we're in the 40s right now and even areas to the northwest a little bit cooler, we're really going to see things warm up and then even heat up by the weekend. 46 in Madison. It is chilly, though. Camp Douglas sitting at 35 only, just three degrees above freezing level. That's 32. Cooler weather also off towards the lake, only 41 in Sheboygan, 47 in Milwaukee. That's where temperatures later today might not be make it into the lower to mid 70s. I think everyone else for the most part across southern Wisconsin will see that happen though. There's your temperature trend. We're already pushing the 60 degree mark by 10 a.m. and then well into the 60s by the lunchtime hour. We're going to be well above average to the next several days. Not so much today, a few degrees above average, but then even close to 15 degrees above average. Been hitting on that all morning. Guys, it's going to be a really warm weekend ahead. 80 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. All All right, Savannah, Savannah. thank you very much. Well, those high temperature trends that are headed our way this weekend, well, it comes amid new research about climate change. The journal Nature says 2023 marked the hottest summer in at least 2,000 years, and scientists say 2024 could be even hotter. We'll, of course, keep you updated on the high temperature trends and the forecast for summer 2024 here on News 3 Now. You can also receive updates specific to your area with the free First Warren Weather and Traffic app. You can find it by searching WISC in your app store. Right now, alarming new data shows deadly drownings are on the rise. A report from the CDC says more than 4,500 people died from drowning each year from 2020 to 2022. That's 500 more deaths per year than we saw in 2019. Those numbers amount to 12 drowning deaths a day or one person every two hours. The highest increases in drownings were among children aged one to four and older adults. Drowning remains the top cause of death for kids of those ages. The rates are highest among indigenous and black people. The CDC says that could be due to public pools closing during the pandemic and historical factors like racial segregation. They also say those groups are less likely to take swim lessons. In fact, most American adults have never taken a swim lesson. To protect yourself and your kids this summer, we're taking a look at some local resources for you. Madison School and Community Recreation is offering swim lessons for kids and adults at the Goodman Pool this summer. The YMCA in Dane County is also offering swim lessons for teens and adults in need of beginner level instruction. You can find more information about prices and dates over on the City of Madison's website and the YMCA of Dane County's website. 633 now. New this morning, President Biden is starting the process to send $1 billion in weapons to Israel. Three congressional aides revealed that information last night. It comes after the administration paused a shipment of thousands of bombs to Israel after learning of the country's possible invasion of Rafah. The arms deal still requires congressional approval. Now to continuing coverage of Donald Trump's criminal election interference trial. The former president will not be in court today as the trial takes a day off. Yesterday, Trump's lawyers cross-examined the prosecution's star witness, former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen. Jared Hill has more. 
Michael Cohen, Trump's fixer turned fierce adversary, is facing a confrontational cross examination from the former president's defense. We had a very good day. Tuesday, Trump's attorney Todd Blanche worked to discredit Cohen, pointing out his public attacks on his former boss and attempts to sell disparaging merch online, like this t shirt depicting Trump behind bars. At one point, Blanche asked Cohen if he wanted to see Trump convicted. Cohen responded, sure. They're basically doing everything they can to make the jury see Cohen as someone who's really almost like a jilted lover, as someone who at one point would do anything for Donald Trump, and now he's done a 180, and his whole life's motive is to get revenge. A gag order has barred Trump from publicly discussing some details of the trial. Tuesday, an appeals court refused to remove it, but this week, a throng of big-name Republican supporters have shown up to court and lobbed attacks of their own, including House Speaker Mike Johnson. This is the, the, the fifth week that President Trump has been in court for this sham of a trial. In his testimony so far, Cohen claims Trump was aware of a plan to pay him back for funneling $130,000 to adult film star Stormy Daniels in order to hide an alleged past sexual encounter ahead of the 2016 election, saying Trump knew financial records would list the reimbursements as legal fees. Trump denies the encounter and has pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. The prosecution says Cohen is their last witness. Last week, they said they could wrap up their case by this Friday. After that, Trump's lawyers will begin presenting their case. At the State House, the Senate has overridden nine of the governor's vetoes. Those include bills combating PFAS pollution. It's unlikely that the overrides are going to receive support in the assembly, though there aren't any plans for that chamber to take them up. Even if they did, the GOP would need some Democrats to cross the aisle. Time is 6.35. The countdown is underway for the 2025 NFL Draft, and the Badger State is already preparing for the big weekend. Officials from Detroit handing off the NFL Draft football in Milwaukee's port yesterday, as the tradition symbolizes the transfer of the draft from one city to the next. Green Bay Packers CEO Mark Murphy and Governor Tony Evers accepted the football. We're ready for the 2025 NFL Draft, and we're ready to show folks from across our country, what Wisconsin and Cheeseheads are all about. So now the attention turns uh, to the Packers, Green Bay, and the entire state. And it's an opportunity for us to celebrate football and welcome visitors. And as has been mentioned, the great history and tradition of the Packers and, of course, uh, iconic uh, Lambeau Field. The ball will remain at the Packers headquarters at Lambeau. The three-day event is expected to draw 250,000 people and bring in $94 million into the state. UW-Madison commemorating 175 years by offering up a small piece of the Memorial Union. Check these out. Many Badger Red Terrace chairs are now for sale. Wisconsin-based Wisco Industries is making them. They're just four inches. There is a limited amount. About 1,700 are for sale. You can find them at Badger Markets in Memorial Union or Union South or online for 20 bucks. All right, pretty cool there. After the break, our call for action week continues with a search for answers on a botched fridge repair. See who's behind it coming up. And we're dry for now, but when you'll need that raincoat, we'll talk about that coming up. And we're enjoying nature in the 608. I'm Josh Ryder live at Pheasant Branch Conservancy as we're talking about some of the events they have coming up, especially birding by ear. And we'll have a look at the eagle's nest when News 3 Now this morning continues. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Create the art of your dreams with Pennington Contractors Grass Seed Mix. It provides quick and professional grade results. Get a 40-pound bag for $59.99 after rebate. Continue your lawn care with Forever Green Weed and Feed Fertilizer. It's designed to control over 150 different broadleaf weeds. This 32-pound bag covers up to 10,000 square feet. Now only $19.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. To get 5750 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. 
You've got this. You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers, purchased. Doggy distractions, no expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft grace zone. So when you have to make a purchase or seven to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you. So you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank. This is the all-new Tempur-Pedic Adapt Mattress, and we designed it to help make aches and pains a thing of the past. Because our most advanced, infinitely adaptable temper material eases your pressure points inch by inch and molecule by molecule in a way no other mattress can. All night, every night. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Come find familiar. Experience new. Live in our rhythm and stay. When you have a consumer issue, this team can help you move forward. When we're behind it, it makes an impact, it makes a difference. As Call for Action Week continues, I'll talk to our volunteer advocates and share how you can put them to work for you tonight at 6. Been scammed? Landlord not responding? Have billing disputes? Take action. Thursday from 4 to 6.30 p.m., call 608-270-2833 and News 3 Now's Call for Action investigators will help you get results. Watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Our call for action week continues this morning with a broken fridge and a botched repair job. Call for action volunteers have been helping out an Oregon woman solve her issues with an appliance repair business in Madison. As our Catherine Merck reports, it's not the first time this business owner has left people high and dry. I am a program coordinator for a nonprofit in the Madison area. This is Lori Thompson. I help people get into the trades. Um, been doing that for going on 10 years. She knows a thing or two about good business practices. So when she experienced unreliable service for a repair. I was angry, I was upset, um, disgusted. That would be the beginning of a string of issues that would eventually lead her to a shocking discovery. It started when she was in need of a quick fix to her refrigerator, and she called Jay Allen with Appliance Service Pros. She sent me these photos of his messy repair job and told me about her unprofessional experiences with him. He was sitting at our dining room table, just kind of thumbing through his phone. The actual bill was almost $1,200. Within a few days, the fix Jay Allen made was in need of another look after it stopped working once again. When they tried to contact him... He just never showed up, never called and has never responded to any of our uh, requests. She knew something wasn't right and took to the internet to find out more about the business. And that's when I saw a whole list of complaints against this company. Since August 2021, the BBB has re received four complaints in regards to this business, all relating to service and communication issues. The Better Business Bureau says on its online platforms, many people have shared their complaints about Jay Allen and appliance service pros. The BBB sent him numerous business questionnaires without answers, just like Lori. We did not receive any responses from the business owner, which resulted in their F rating with us. I've tried multiple times over the course of the past month to reach out to Jay Allen by phone call and email without any responses. I've even shown up to his business that's listed on his website, which is seemingly behind me, but there are no signs or other identifiers besides his name and business on a mailbox here. But that's not where the sketchy situation stops. And then I found out he was also a representative in Fitchburg. Not only is Jay Allen currently serving on the Common Council in Fitchburg, he was once the mayor 
In a 2014 story with News 3 Now, the former mayor hired first-class mailers in Madison for a flyer that was sent out during his mayoral campaign. He just isn't responding. His check to cover the cost bounced, and the owner told us he had the same issues of unresponsiveness that Lori is experiencing a decade later. Because here's someone that you would hope is in a position where they're looking out for the best interest of people in their community. As for Lori, she got her money back after filing a complaint with her credit card. But for those who are represented by Jay Allen in office, she wants them to know a thing or two about his background. I find that appalling. That was Catherine Merck reporting. Jay Allen still has not responded to our requests for comment. Now, all these stories are leading up to News 3 Now's Call for Action Telethon happening tomorrow. Our volunteers will be on standby to take your calls and get your stories out there. So make sure you tune in on Thursday to watch it all happen live from 4 to 6.30. All right, coming up on a quarter to 7, Savannah's here with your three things to know. Hey, Savannah. Hey, good morning, guys. Beautiful day ahead. Lots of sunshine, mild air returning after we only reached 65 yesterday. Forecast high going to make it into the lower to mid-70s today. Showers and storms, those could return as early as overnight into early tomorrow morning. Thursday, we'll have to watch the afternoon, not anticipating any severe weather but we could see a couple of isolated stronger storms that produce some heavy rain or heavy rains and gusty winds out there. 80s over the weekend though, so it is going to be warm. It's cooler than yesterday and this is the typical pattern we saw the last couple of mornings, but not what we're going to see the next couple of mornings. So although we're sitting at 5 degrees cooler in Madison, Bosco Bell's sitting at 14 degrees cooler. We're at 46 in McFarland, Madison, Middleton at 47 degrees. We have those northeasterly winds and mostly clear skies. Those did help temperatures fall out there this morning. 37 in Camp Douglas, Black River Falls was also in the 30s. Now at 41, 50 in Janesville. So we do have a couple 50s sitting south of here already. The warmest air that's going to be in Madison also westward, eastward towards the lake. I don't think temperatures are going to be as warm as the rest of the area. That's due to our easterly or northeasterly wind. Everyone else making it into the lower to mid 70s today. Not as warm as what we're going to see as we head into Friday, Saturday and Sunday this upcoming weekend. Showers start to eventually track in as early as about 4 or 5 a.m. tomorrow. So might need the umbrella or rain gear. That's for areas west of Madison. And then we'll continue to see some showers move in. We'll have to watch the afternoon again. No severe weather is anticipated, but we could see gusty winds also maybe a couple rumbles of thunder and definitely some pockets of heavier showers as we do see that line of showers and storms track in. But like I mentioned, warm, that's what we've been saying all morning long, 80s return for Saturday and Sunday before things cool down a little bit. Not really going to quiet down a lot, so be sure to get out and about and enjoy your day today, 73 and sunny. All right, Savannah, thank you. Time now to check in with 608 and see what is going on. Telling you about an opportunity to go birding by ear this week, exploring all things nature has to offer. That's right. Our Josh Prider is live in Middleton to tell us all about it. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Beautiful morning here at Pheasant Branch Conservancy, and they have a lot of events coming up to get you right here in your own backyard to enjoy nature. Paul Ludden is with the Friends of Pheasant Branch Conservancy. Paul, good to see you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. Boy, we have a front row seat to beauty this morning. This is incredible. Well, it's always beautiful in Pheasant Branch Conservancy, but as you can see behind us, the eagles are raising an eaglet. Uh, the deer are out frolicking around. There's a pair of sandhill cranes raising a couple colts already, so it's a it's a wonderful morning here. I think that's what's so amazing is every time I come out here, there's something new that I see, and that's really what this is all about out here. Indeed, indeed. Uh, 600 acres of Pheasant Branch Conservancy provides a lot of space for biodiversity and many, many species, and it's just a calming walk to come out here any time of day to see what's going on in Pheasant Branch Conservancy. So you are talking Conservancy Days as well, and there are some days that you can come out here and really take in this nature. Absolutely. Uh, tomorrow evening, we have an indoor event at Middleton Library where the Friends of Pheasant Branch and the Middleton Library co collaborate to put on Conservancy Days and we'll be learning about 
uh, birding by ear, where you learn to identify birds by their sound, not by seeing them. And this Saturday, we'll have a birding walk through the corridor on the other side of Century Avenue, where people will get to see some of the little birds that are now migrating through the Conservancy. So these are opportunities really for you to get invested into nature and really understand what makes this place so beautiful for us. Absolutely. Uh, this, this serves so many purposes. The Conservancy uh, retains the land, retains water, uh, but also provides an education for young folks to come out here and see nature in person. So how important is it to have the community support in keeping this going forward? Oh, absolutely. We have to have community support because this is such a treasure of uh, seeing nature in our community. Uh, through the day, we'll see young kids come out, mothers come out with families, the joggers, obviously, the walkers, but this is such an important part of our own community, and it's wonderful that we've kept this intact as the city grows up around us. And even amazing, over the last hour, what we've been able to see, just standing right in this very Ab spot, a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Just uh, last year, I was standing at Merchant Point here in the Conservancy, and a pair of river, river otters popped up right in front of me. Wow, so. that's so cool. All right, well, Paul, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you would like to learn more about Conservancy Days or what else is happening here at Pheasant Branch Conservancy in the next few weeks, you can go to the story on channel3000.com. What a beautiful morning, Chris and Shane, to be out here. I still can't get over the eagle's nest. And Shane, I know you had said this was the first time that you'd seen a, an eagle like this, but you've never seen an eagle in person? I've never seen Come one on in out. person. I know. Thank you. I would love to come. I lived in La Crosse for a year on the That's Mississippi. Crazy. Be, never there. saw one. I know. I'd love to make it out there. It looks absolutely beautiful, Josh. Yeah, go check it out. Thanks, Josh. Oh, it really is. All right, coming up in the morning sprint, the mode of transportation that's closing today. We'll tell you about it. And we want to wish a happy birthday to Isla. All right. Happy birthday. We're back right after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It can bear over 4,000 times its own weight, and that's just the door hinge. Sturdy design down to the smallest detail, the Taos. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get 0% APR financing or a $1,500 customer bonus on a new 2024 Taos. It's good news, Madison, brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. The Madison area is full of fantastic bike trails, but there are two in particular that I love. First, it's the Southwest Trail, and the second is the Cap City Trail, which runs right through downtown. I would highly recommend checking out Dane County's bike map to make your ride as comfortable as you want and enjoy biking around our community. And that is Good News Madison, brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. Ride a chip. <clears throat> Just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry, my cousin's got a guy. <laughs> hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house guest, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your home renewal with two for one windows and no interest for one year. Plus, we'll get it done <laughs> Feldco fast. Two for one windows won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Save on updates for every room at Macy's Memorial Day Sale. Like the five-piece Radley sectional, $21.99, and the St. Croix Outdoor Dining Set, $10.99. Plus, take advantage of great financing on select purchases today at Macy's. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. This Mother's Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. 
It's our Spring Envy Flooring Sale, plus special financing to make your projects a reality. Our talented interior designers at H&R Carpets and Flooring take you through each step. On sale now at H&R Carpets and Flooring, Wanaki. The Jetta received a five-star overall safety rating, so if you stars get in, we could also say it has a five-star interior. I don't think so. Okay. I thought it was a good idea. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get 2.9% APR financing or a $1,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Jetta. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10. Moving forward. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. The Merrimack Ferry is closed today and tomorrow. As you can see, crews out there starting to resurface the south landing leading to the ferry. The DOT is asking people who depend on it to use alternate routes. The ferry should be back open on Friday. Madison police are looking for a burglar who broke into a Madison bike shop. Employees at Machinery Row Bicycles on Willie Street say that they found a crowbar and damage to their back window last Friday. The crook got away with a couple of Trek bikes. Anyone with information about the incident should call Crime Stoppers. The man who shot someone on State Street in 2022 will spend eight years in prison. Lamar Jefferson pleaded guilty to one charge related to the shooting on November 29th, 2022. That in exchange for the dropping of two other charges, including attempted murder. Jefferson will serve five years of extended supervision after his release. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson is showing his support for Donald Trump. He was at the former president's criminal trial yesterday, calling it a sham. The president showed support for not ousting him as House Speaker last week. The trial has the day off. Trump is headed to Cincinnati, Ohio for a fundraiser. Boeing could face criminal charges. The DOJ warned the company yesterday it breached the terms of its 2021 agreement when the company avoided charges for two deadly crashes. After a series of safety missteps on other planes this year, the DOJ says Boeing is subject to prosecution. But the Biden administration says Boeing has the opportunity to respond to the breach of contract and resolve the situation. Some prominent TikTok influencers are suing the federal government to stop a law that could ban the app. The users say that the law violates their First Amendment rights. President Biden signed the measure into law last month. It requires TikTok's Chinese parent company to sell its stake in the app or see it removed from U.S. app stores. TikTok has also filed a separate legal challenge to the law. New this morning, President Biden is telling key lawmakers his administration will send $1 billion in weapons to Israel. Three congressional aides revealed that information last night. Now, it's not clear when those weapons will be delivered. Temperatures are going to make it into the lower to mid 70s today. Lots of sunshine before conditions warm even further up Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be pushing for the 80s well above average. In fact, that's almost 15 degrees above normal. Things cool down a little bit more Monday, Tuesday and midweek next week. That's when we're going to be in the lower 70s. That's about seasonable. I have to bring up. I can't believe you've never seen a bald eagle. I know. Wow. I know it's unfortunate, but I got to get out there. The uh, Conservancy looks great. Good chance. You just got to get out more. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> thanks for letting me know, you. guys. All right. Thanks for waking up with us this morning, folks. Hey, there we go. Right there. Beautiful shot. We'll see you back here for another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes.